Hi everyone, it's Mercy here uh, from Andela. Uh, welcome to our onboarding session. Uh, we are so excited to have you here and we are super excited to have you doing the program. Uh, congratulations everyone and we hope you are excited to start this journey with us. Uh, so just to do a quick introduction of who we have with us today, uh, we have our pro site team that will be Eric and Ryan. We have our team from Mandela that will be Brad, Brad Oxahilo. We have Alela. We have Abraham Ogol, uh, Sam, Grace, and Owal. So they will have a chance to just uh, speak about, I think, of the of two through the session and uh, we will just kick off the session with a introduction about LLC and LA, uh, because many of us might be wondering why LLC, why do we have the partnership? So this is the chance for you to get to understand more about that. And super excited to have you here. Uh, so uh, Abraham, if you can just kick off with uh, ALC, what ALC is and why we are excited to have everyone here today. Hi, thank you very much. Uh, I'm super excited to you know to join you guys. Uh, one of the one one of the fundamental things that like I just want to take this opportunity to thank those guys who uh, like one hour to the call. You guys are like already excited, waiting to the call just just to see what's going to come out of this. It's like really really super amazing on how like the efforts you guys are like really placing in this and. We want to just spend like a lot of uh, a lot of our next few days just going through this entire YP, uh, like supporting you guys. And we are glad we we are actually we have actually brought on board like a lot of guys, a lot of collaborations from guys from Plural Site, Andela, and even Google just to deliver all these amazing content with you guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take like uh, the next few minutes, uh, just going through a presentation that I. I specifically made for this. So uh, while I'm doing the presentation, and I'm pretty sure like some of you guys are like outside there tweet, uh, tweeting, um, please go ahead, feel free, uh, reach out, tag at Ogol Abraham on Twitter. You know, follow back. I'll definitely follow back. Go ahead and probably check some of Andela's, uh, you know, Twitter handles. Please feel free to tweet something about this, and you know, welcome for this onboarding session. What I'm gonna cover specifically is like brief project, uh, I mean, program introduction, objectives, uh, a bit of a learning science as to why we are actually putting together all these amazing things, uh, some benefits, as, uh, especially to you as a learner. And, you know, definitely at the end of this, we'll have a session for a QA. And, uh, we hope to make this as awesome as possible. So, under the learning community, uh, it's it's uh, is a is a partnership program that we currently run here at Candela, and this is actually the third, the fourth of it. So the first one was run in Lagos, um, sometime two years ago. The second one was run in Lagos and Kenya, uh, and and Uganda, I think, to be specific. Then the third one, Kenya, Lagos, Uganda. Um, there is also Rwanda. There is also TZ, and now we are actually in the fourth one. Something amazing that each and every year, from from one thousand, we are actually at thirty thousand. And each and every time, we keep on impacting the the number of learners that we are like. I mean, having into the program. And to be honest, we have like a record standing of more than twenty one thousand hours of learning. We have impacted more than one hundred thousand developers and. You guys are just like in the next lot to be impacted again. And when when I talk about impact, I'm, I'm, I mean like uh, like a lot of success stories that we are actually able to tell about Andela. A lot of very awesome things that we are able to tell about not only Andela but even the learning community that we have built using LC. The learning science that we have actually been able to put into this and how we are actually going to start your journey into becoming an awesome uh, Android or web developer and now in this case even a cloud engineer in uh, in Google GCP so Andela is under learning community is a collaboration between Google Prosite and Andela and different stakeholders uh, 
uh, apologies, and different stakeholders in this partnership play a very fundamental role just to make sure that, yeah, I mean, like you are supported and your work is like just to learn, be empowered, and more like, like you know, going towards impacting you as a learner and finding the best uh, match outfit for you guys here. So just to just spend like a bit of a time looking at what we have been able to accomplish in our Nella learning community. We have not only been able to like provide certificates, but most of our learners in, who has gone through this, uh, you know, program has like really benefited a lot. Much majority have been able to share their success stories. Uh, we'll definitely share with some of you guys in video. Uh, a lot of them have written a lot of success stories about them. Uh, we have also had quite a number that have gotten jobs from this program. And so we believe that you guys are just in the next plot to build like, a lot of success from this. And even as we continue to engage, we're going to have to hear a lot of these. And feel free, awesome, to us at Ambella, um, our success will be defined on uh, how many of you guys will definitely get a chance to go through the entire course and finish it up. How many of you guys are going to get placed on jobs? And this is one of the most fundamental things that we are definitely looking up to. How many of you guys are going to be generally impacted? Like uh, by the end of this program, could you can you build something? Are we able to showcase what you build? And these are some things that we are actually going to focus on a lot in the next couple of days just to make sure that we are in the face of impacting lives and how are we going to to face it out so like i said each and every number we are like always advancing and increasing our intake numbers like in this case we only had a target of sixty thousand applicants can you imagine you are among the top thirty thousand? actually you're like thirty three thousand out of 122,000 that I actually applied for this program. And so that is actually a moment that should actually just take like some two seconds, just, uh, you know, shout out for yourself, feel awesome, feel very much privileged on probably how you are very lucky to get into this program. And throughout this two program, seconds. there are like a lot of things that are gonna change. Uh, like we're going to uh, have 30,000 in the first phase of learning, 10,000 in the second phase. Uh, we are going to give capstone projects to uh, to 4,000. Uh, out of that 4,000, we are targeting 1,000 candidates to do a Google certification. So we are, as we are going through this, uh, so I'm going to find out someone to mute. So as we're going through this, um, it's going to be like an, an awesome journey that I would like you guys all to partake and looking at it from you know a wider perspective this is something that all of you guys can definitely capture and figure out do i want to be the top 1000 that are going to take the google certification and google certification is like that recognizable one that you can be recognized that you have actually taken a google nano degree certification and they are actually employable so this is more like like a brief overview of the program structure we have like regional program assistance facilitators and mentors and then learning groups that will definitely get a chance to cover into this but then i want to spend like some few moments just just going through this and like how are we actually building a blend of all these working groups community meetups and online setup that we're actually going to give you guys and how is this going to be very very much awesome right now uh in the next few couple of weeks you're going to definitely get like uh you know uh into peer learning groups and then we definitely have someone discussing about it here there'll also be meetups like you know we're gonna have like somebody discussing about it in this call uh, how are meetups going to be scheduled when are the meetups going to happen and how is that going to be then there's a lot of online support that you guys will be able to get through slack facebook uh, and, and even some other platforms that are actually going to do. And then we are going to have like a learning phase, then learning and assessments and analysis. Then the last bit of this will be like more of like talent matching. Like I said, our core goal here is making this program to be like super impactful and you know, I'm generally preparing you guys for the talent markets to the market ready and generally making you guys to be market ready. So we look at it as is LC able to impact, I mean, to prepare you enough to be like uh, market trading. And that generally defines most of like everything that you want to do. And if you look at it, our core, the benefit that you're gonna reap from this is, you know, maybe a deal for much to well, but 
we want you to get a job we want you to be like market trading and we want you to look at it from different views so more or less what we have basically done i'm gonna spend like some two minutes i know like i'm way much over time i'm gonna spend like some two minutes explaining like a bunch of this we have had candidates who have like gone through this entire program and we have had a lot of stories to tell about them but one good thing that i've never done in the previous lcs is matching those talents that we have generated from lc and matching them to the to the job market that's where we want to spend like uh quite a number of our energy this this week just to uh just to like i mean quite a, quite a bit of energy in this program just to look at everything in a different dimension and just make sure that by the time you are an lc graduate especially from the second phase of learning we are able to match your talent to the job market you're actually being able to, to place so at this point you can just see like we are partnering with different people google facebook in different countries and the fact because we cannot definitely manage all of you guys gonna have you guys in different programs that we are currently running we are actually developing a platform called talent marketplace that will be able to manage all lc graduates and just and do a just in time hiring that we'll be doing inside here at andela and even different partners that we are actually tech, uh, part partnering up with so more or less like after this program we can rest assured that if you consume the content you're able to develop and even take some of the certification courses that you're going to do we'll be able to assure that if we have the bandwidth to hire you there's no one else we're going to reach to rather than the talents that we have invested in and based and so we'll always keep you in our database we'll always keep you uh, asking hey are you ready for a job are you ready to do this because we are in the process of building you and there's no point of building you if after this it's just a matter of abandoning you so there are a lot of post lc engagements that we are actually building internally that we are intending to make it awesome to just uh you know uh make sure that you are not only market ready but actually get a job market itself i'm gonna stop there uh, feel free on twitter Again, feel free to tag me using uh, at Ogol Abraham at Andela Kenya at, uh, you know, one at hashtag uh, LC with Google, hashtag 150 days of LC4. Feel free to reach out and, you know, ask any question through this and we're going to take the last 30 minutes just answering some of your few questions. Thank you so much. Um, um, I'm going to get this back to Marcy. Um, you know, uh, just, let me just let me just stop sharing. <laughs> Yeah, that's all. Thank you very much, Uncle. Uh, I hope that was uh, quite insightful with uh, what we sent to gain and what we are seeing. Uh, so, uh, next in line, we have uh, Benson from Google who, who would speak more about the partnership. Um, Benson? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, great. Um, first, let me let me start by thanking um, thanking all of you and uh, welcoming you. Uh, most uh, uh, great congratulations to all of you for making it to be part of this team. Um, as you all know, Google is committed to supporting technology advancement. Uh, that's globally, and the growth of developer and the uh, developer ecosystem is something that we really value and take uh, take it uh, very importantly. Um, uh, Google has partnered with uh, Andela and Pluralsight, and um, of course, these are the very best that we you you can get. Uh, they are global um, uh, global uh, experts in training and technology, uh, and that's the reason why this partnership is um, very very valuable to us. And and basically, the aim of this training that um, you will be going through, I think you've uh, you've had that uh, mentioned by my colleagues. Is, uh, is to basically offer you an opportunity uh, to uh, develop your skills and strengthen the talent pool, of course, of all developers that we have uh, across, uh, across Africa. Uh, the program is aimed, of course, to benefit you um, uh, with uh, this measurable and impactful learning, and that we, we, we are honestly um, uh, hopeful that you will acquire the industrial relevant job skills uh, by, end of, uh, by the end of this. Uh, so before I move to the ABLE partnerships that we've had, I, I would sum this uh, from the Google perspective. Our, uh, our ambition in three, just three sentences. Uh, one is to, of course, increase the quality of uh, mobile um, uh, developers that we have. 
uh, we we have mobile developers, but we want to enable you to be uh, better and uh, even develop better um, uh, better apps moving forward. Uh, the second one is also to increase the number of mobile devs that we have. If you take um, a, a deep stick analysis across our region, we have some of the very best mobile devs. We have some of the very best uh, cloud engineers. We have uh, some of the very best uh, mobile web uh, engineers and devs. But, but we want to increase that talent pool so that we have more opportunities for all of us. And, and lastly, is to inspire you and inspire anyone who is new in this program. I believe there are some of us who are um, relatively new in the dev world and would like to inspire you to even get better and better and become professionals. You, you will be uh, moving forward in the very, very able hands of Vandela and Pluralsight. Uh, Google is a, a, a valid partner in this. We will, we will be um, advising and overseeing that the programs and the trainings that you go through uh, uh, is of best quality. So from where I sit and uh, the rest of our team, um, the very best uh, in all this program, let's put the best uh, foot forward in all of us. Let's also remember that uh, we, are, we, are, we worked hard to be among the very limited uh, opportunities that were distributed across, across the region. So let's give it a, uh, the best chance that we have knowing that there are limited opportunities. And this is a really, really world-class uh, training that we are going to offer. Uh, my name is Benson Kinoti. I'm the programs manager for Google uh, for the region. Uh, I work closely with the team that uh, is on call right now, and we will definitely be interacting uh, more and more as uh, as days go by. Uh, we have other members of the team uh, as the program rolls out. So thank you very much, uh, and 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 let's let's make this valuable for all of us. Thank you. Thanks, Benson, and major gratitude to the Google team. I must say we don't get opportunities like this every single day, and when we get them, let's give them, let's give it a 150 percent. You never know what the future holds through such programs. Yeah. So up next, I am going to give a chance to our, our partner that's ProSite. Uh, and just to mention, I'm sure we all got emails from Pro site and, uh, and maybe we're wondering where, how do I get started? Uh, what should I do? What next? And uh, we are having a team from ProSite today to just guide us through how to get started and what we need to do once we open that link. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Mercy. Uh, Ryan Taylor here from Pluralsight. Uh, I have my colleague Eric Alder on the call as well. Um, we help manage uh, the partnership from the Pluralsight perspective. Um, and as Mercy alluded to, uh, and as Benson alluded to, just wanted to congratulate all of you from uh, Pluralsight. Uh, you're you're one of the the 25% that are advancing to this next learning phase. Um, so we look forward to to working with you to continue uh, your development in these different technologies. Um, and, and as Mercy alluded to, just wanted to provide a, a brief overview of how to get started on Pluralsight and how to continue your learning journey. So I'll be sharing my screen and giving a going over what the partner home will look like. So as you go into Pluralsight, what the homepage will look like, what courses you should be engaging with, what skill IQs you should be engaging with, and then a brief overview of all of that content. So if you can see my screen right now, this is the Pluralsight homepage that all of you should be able to access. Uh, and this is for the Android developer track. So we have three different tracks. This is the Android developer track. Here is the home experience for the mobile web specialist track. And then this is the homepage experience for the cloud engineer track. So I'll give the example of the Android developer track. So within this track, you'll see that uh, there is links to the Android developer skill IQ assessment and the Android developer learning channels. And up here is just a continue learning. So you can see on my account, these are the courses that I've engaged with and continue, can continue learning on. So this first link here will take you to the Google Associate Android developer skill IQ assessment. So this is the IQ assessment if you're in the Android developer track that you would need to take 
um, and score an expert or proficient on to move on to the next phase of learning. So if you click here, it should take you to that skill IQ assessment. So I'll go back to the home page. And then jumping down here into the Android developer learning channels, you'll see there's Android developer learning phase one main track, Android developer learning phase one deep dive. So these are the two learning channels that you'll wanna focus most of your efforts on in learning phase one. So if you click on that learning phase track, it'll take you to the courses for learning phase one. And you'll see that these are a little bit higher level um, or a little bit more difficult than the courses that were in the previous promotion and selection phase. And so you also have access to all of the courses that you originally had access to in the last phase of learning. So these are the learning phase one courses and then this Android Developer Foundations, Android Developer Foundations Deep Dive, Optional Deep Dive on Foundations, and the additional optional business professional skills. These are all courses that you previously had access to. And then these learning phase one courses, these are the new courses for this, this new learning phase. So this is the partner home experience or the, the home page that you should be able to go into. And I'll give a quick overview of uh, mobile web specialists and cloud engineer as well. So you'll notice mobile web specialists is a little bit different. The relevant skill IQs that you'll need to be taking to advance, uh, HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. And if you click on any of these, it will link to that correct uh, skill IQ assessment. Uh, so once again, you'll need to score an expert or proficient on one of these skill IQs to be able to advance the next uh, phase of learning. And then you'll see here, new content is the Mobile Web Specialist Learning Phase 1 main track and Mobile Web Specialist Learning Phase 1 deep dive. And you still have access to all of those courses that you were able to access in the last phase of learning. And then the final partner home or the final homepage experience are for those who enrolled in the cloud engineer learning track. You'll see we have two cloud engineer skill IQs. There's the associate cloud engineer on GCP skill IQ assessment. This is new and I don't believe any anyone within the program has taken that yet. So make sure that you come in and take this skill IQ assessment along with the Google professional cloud architect skill IQ assessment. Once again, you'll need to score an expert or proficient on these skill IQs to progress the next phase of learning. And then additionally, there's this new uh, learning content for this phase, Cloud Engineer Learning Phase 1 Main Track and Cloud Engineer Learning Phase 1 Deep Dive. So that's a high level overview of what it should look like when you come into the, the Pluralsight um, application. And you should be able to access these skill IQ assessments as well as the additional content that has been added for each of your learning tracks. And then I just wanted to provide a, a, another overview of this Help Center article that our support team has put together. So if you go to the Pluralsight Help Center page, um, you'll have access to this Help Center article that describes everything you need to know from the Pluralsight end about our platform and about the partnership. And this Help Center article will be updated with all of the new content that you'll need to access. So we've noticed that some users have had difficulty accessing courses from a mobile device. If you can use this Help Center article, there should be links to the courses that you want to access to, to move on to the next learning phase. You should be able to access those courses from this Help Center article. Um, and just lastly, from Pluralsight, if you come across any questions, we have 24-7 uh, support from our support uh, team, and that email is support at pluralsite.com. If you have any questions about the Pluralsight platform, about the content that you should be accessing, feel free to reach out to our support team, and they should be able to, to help with those questions. Um, so that is it from Pluralsight. Um, and happy to answer more questions when we, we jump into our Q&A session. Awesome. Thank you, Brian. Uh, and just a quick follow up on that. Uh, don't get stuck. When you are stuck, make sure you refer to Help Center and make use of ProSite email that should be support at ProSite.com. OK, cool. So our uh, Next up will be 
our Andela creative stroke marketing team that will be represented by Brad Oxenjilo. So Brad will be here to talk more about uh, 150 days of ALC4 and sharing what you're doing, sharing your story through this program. Yeah, Brad. Hi, how are you? As Masi has communicated, my name is Brad Oxugilo. I work with um, Andela in the marketing and communications team. I'm a creative, a photographer, and I also handle social media for Andela Kenya. So first of all, congratulations to everyone who's made it to this course. I also personally uh, enrolled and got shortlisted for the mobile web track because I'm also learning UI UX, so I also needed to, to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I'll be joining you guys. That aside, um, 150 days of ALC4 is a, is a campaign that's aimed at just telling the world what you're doing and showing the world what your process is. I remember when I started out as a photographer, the most important thing to me from my mentors was how exactly they go to where they're at right now. So that journey is very important and we felt the need to sort of uh, encourage us to tell our journey on social media share our journey with the rest of the world so that people see how you progress, people, see, people sort of get to demystify uh, software engineering for those people who are either hesitant to apply because they, they felt it was very difficult, or people who are just waiting to see someone else do it so that they can get in. So 150 days of AOC4 is a hashtag that we're using to communicate that to everyone else out there. Uh, communication has gone that on all, on all our relevant Twitter channels uh, for, for Andela in, in Africa feel free to tweet and retweet uh, tweets from that account. But most importantly, take the next, uh, I'd like to encourage us to take the next step to, to tweet and share our journey, like start from day one, day two, day three, day four, just encourage you guys to tweet daily about your, your, um, your challenges, your experiences, your learnings, just share them out out there so that people, um, everyone else in the world gets to see what you're doing and gets to understand what the journey is. That's, that's basically it for me. Thank you so much and uh, congratulations and all the best. I'll meet, I'll meet all the mobile web track guys in the channel. Okay, thank you, Brad. Uh, Thanks a lot. Um, I must say call that it's really important to share your journey, share your story, let the world know what you're doing. Uh, because that way you, we, can't, we can't live on this world at all. So like you need those people to grow your career and everything else. So as Brad mentioned, let's share our journey using the hashtag 150 days of ARC4. Also, use the hashtag ARC with Google, grow with Google. So, given that, uh, we will go more into ARC 4.0 and how we are going to better support you as a learner. And we would like to talk more about how we are going to use peer learning groups to support you. Make meetups to support you. And I will have a wall taking us through, sorry, not a wall, but rather Alela taking us through peer learning groups. Uh, so Alela, if you can please introduce yourself and then tell us more about peer learning groups and how that will work and what learners, uh, why learners need to make use of that. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much, Masi. Uh, as Masi has said, my name is Alela. I'm a program assistant for Andela Learning Community for Western Kenya. So the peer learning groups are supposed to prepare you up with mentors and also your fellow learners. So this is after the need, like when you enroll on the program, that you, there's need for you to address blockers that you're facing daily. So for this particular session, if you're going to be having the tool you're under the Android track, you will be advised to join the peer, peer learning group for Android, whereby your learners are going to be given mentors. So these mentors are supposed to guide you through the program. And in case you have a blocker, you also feel free to address it there. If you're facing a challenge that the, like the platform that has been created for you is to address your blockers and your challenges. So when you address your challenges also, 
The peer learning groups enable your fellow peers who are maybe tackling the same prog- problems to get to know how it was tackled, how, how, it was, uh, how it was solved. And also a mentor can advise you on ways to avoid such future problems. So uh, when the peer learning groups are not specifically just for the mentors to answer your questions, but also for fellow scholars to actually get to answer them. So you're not restricted to just sticking to the mentor to answer, but once on the group, feel free to always ask your fellow peers about the problems that you're encountering, because you may realize that you are having a certain problem and another learner is also having a certain, the same, same problem. So the reason as to why the peer learning groups are there is basically to enable you to interact with your mentors and also to interact with people who are under the same track. Yes. Back to you, Marcy. Thank you, Elena. Yeah. Uh, next up will be uh, Sam. Sam will speak more to meetups and where we'll be having our meetups and why it's important to attend meetups if you can. All right, thank you, Mercy. My name is Sam Mesidem. I am a program assistant for the Southeast region in Nigeria. So aside the online support that Alela has mentioned earlier, the LLC team will be organizing offline meetups that will enable learners to come to have physical contact with their facilitators and mentors. This will enable them to get unblocked with any blocker that they might be facing that they cannot that cannot be done online. So this meetup will be held in Andela locations. By that I mean areas where we have Andela offices, which includes Nigeria, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda. So if you are learning in any of these locations, we are going to be having physical meetups on the 29th of this month. That will be our first meetups. So in the coming weeks, I think it should be this week, we should be sharing the RSVP to every learner so that you can choose your preferred meetup location. So when you get this email, what you, you, what you just need to do is you choose your preferred meetup location and you will also be given contacts of program assistant that are in charge of your location so that you can find out whatever you want to find out from them. Thank you very much, Mercy. Thank you, Sam, uh, once more. Uh, so just to also echo, uh, once you get the meet application details, please respond so that we can plan well to better support you. And we are also going to pair all the learners and send emails together with the details of your mentor. Also make sure you join our groups, the Slack groups, Facebook groups, so that you can, we can better communicate with you and you can get better get support from your peers, your mentors, and also from our team from Mandela. Yeah, so I know we can't cover like everything on this call, everything pertaining the bits that we need to share with everyone here, uh, but what we're going to do next is go to the question and answer session and this way we can answer more of question more questions that you have and if you have not shared your question yet you still have a chance to share using the link that was shared to you via email but uh i will hand over the question and answer session for a while you can moderate that yeah or well, you can do that um, okay, thank you very much, uh, Messi. Thank you very much, everyone. Hi, my name is Awal. Um, I'm a program assistant in the LC team. I lead the, the program assistant teams in, in most of the communications we do. Uh, so at this junction for this call, we're going through question and answers. And then um, I'll be asking some questions and uh, on, situa- on some situations I'll be, do- I'll be even answering the questions myself. But then members of the team will always uh, be welcome to answer some of the questions. So um, so most of the questions here, we have uh, a whole lot of questions, so we can take all questions. So I'm going to be taking questions with the highest number of upvotes and then probably questions that are more related to, to the program. Yeah, so um, one of the questions, uh, I think this question goes to the Pluralsight team is, 
um, is it possible for Elena at this point in time to switch track, see from mobile web specialist to Android? Yeah, I can take that. Um, so the question is, is it possible to switch tracks uh, during this learning phase? Yes, I, please, John. So we, we're not able to switch tracks um, anymore. So after the promotion and selection phase, it'll be difficult for us to have anyone switch over to an, another track. Yeah, OK, thank you very much, Julian. Um, so the next question, the next last question was, um, uh, so we the invite link to the Slack has uh, has expired, like uh, due to high activities. Uh, is there any way uh, learners can join the Slack channel? So I will answer this question. So we noticed this issue was it on on Friday? Yeah, we noticed this issue. So we built uh, a bot that lets you auto invite yourself. If um, we sent out an email just some moment ago, around an hour ago with a link, uh, the link is um, alc 4 slack invite .com. So once you, you visit that page, uh, I'll probably share my screen for a moment so that we can see this live, um, how it works. So the URL, the URL is a uh, lc 4 slack invite .com. So once you visit the page, uh, it lets you, yeah, so this is the page, you, you enter your email address, for example, um, I'm trying to invite myself, so if uh, if you are, you happen to be in any of the tracks, so say in mobile specialist, and click on an invite, send invite, you get invited automatically, so yeah, so this already exists because I already exist, so if, if you are someone who is on any of the workspace, you can just come here, enter your email address, select your, your correct track and then send an invite. You get an invite immediately to your email. You continue the process from there. So does, uh, does this for this question? Yeah. So on to the next question. Um, so the guys in mobile web specialists have a question that uh, the first link shared with, with the learners is actually not working. So um, Sam, will you want to take this? Okay, hello. Yeah. Yeah, so we discovered that the first link that was shared was not working. So we we got another link from Flora site and shared it to learners. I think we have posted a new link on our Facebook page and also on the Slack channels we have shared a new link on all those platforms so they can check on it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, thank you very much, Sam. Yeah, so on to the next question. Um, yeah, so so some learners were asking, yeah, so they have, they've been given uh, the scholarship to, to multiple tracks, more than one track, so are they expected to take a uh, uh, skill IQ assessment in all tracks? That question goes to the Pluralsight team. Yeah, so whichever track they want to complete or is their preferred track, that's the content that I would engage with and the, the skill IQ assessments that they should be engaging with as well. So for example, if a user uh, signed up for both Android and cloud, um, if they don't want to pursue Android, then I would focus my efforts mainly on the cloud content and the cloud skill IQs. Yeah, okay, thank you very much, Rian. Um, okay, next question goes back to you again. Um, so, the learners are asking, is the course entirely self-paced? Can they do it at their leisure time, or is there a time frame for, the net, for this phase? Hi, Rian, did you, did you get me? Yeah, sorry, uh, internet issues over here. Yes, so there is a time frame. So we will be closing learning phase one on August 6th. Okay, 
So okay. users have until August 6th to complete the requirements for learning phase one. And the requirements are an expert or proficient skill IQ on their preferred track. So if they're uh, in the Android track, an expert or proficient skill IQ on the Android skill IQ assessment or watching uh, four hours of content. Yeah. Um, OK, uh, so this is actually not part of the question, but I think uh, I've, some learners have reached out to me and asked this question, and I'll probably love you to f to clarify on this. So we have uh, some learners already, uh, already some learners from the mobile specialist, for example, already scored expert in all three uh, skill IQ assessments, the CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. So what happens in their own case? Are they just expected to take four hours of content or do they need to retake the skill IQ? Yeah, so if a user has already scored expert or proficient on their skill IQ, they don't necessarily need to retake that. Um, we just ask that they continue to engage with the content um, and continue to uh, retake the skill IQ assessment to gain a higher score. If we have, uh, so going into learning phase two, we plan on uh, allowing 10,000 learners to pass on to that phase. And that will be based on an aggregate of their skill IQ score and engagement. So those learners that are most engaged with, with all of the content will be the ones that advancing. So even if you have scored a proficient or expert on your skill IQ, I would continue to engage with the content to ensure that, that you continue progressing through the program. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Rian. Um, so on to the next question. Um, okay, so um, the next question is, learners are asking, so um, the notice there are two sets of, of uh, there are two channels for every, uh, for every track. So is it compulsory for them to watch four hours from each of the track or they can watch four hours for a single track and then, um, and it's okay. So without probably checking into the, the main track and then not going through deep dive, will that be considered? Yes. Yeah, so it's four hours of content for in, from any of those two tracks. Um, so yeah, a, a user can just go through the main track and not go into the deep dive track. But once again, I urge you to, to go through all the content that you can just to ensure that you continue progressing the program. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so thank you very much, Rian. Yeah, so um, so on to the next question. Yeah, so um, I think this is over to you, Sam. Um, is, there, is it compulsory for all learners to join the Facebook group? Uh, I won't say it is compulsory, but at least you have to join one of the channels. We are using Facebook and Slack. So if you are in Slack, whatever you are sharing on Facebook, we are also sharing them on our Slack channel. So if you are in any of the channel, you will get first class information about the program. Yeah, okay, to add, or to, add to what uh, Sam just said, um, it is, I will say it is very, very important to join the Slack workspace. Reason being that your communication with your mentor and other, else, other, other scholars in the same group in the same group you will be in your peer learning group will be basically done over Slack. So you missing them, uh, missing Slack means if you have a blocker, technical blockers, we expect you to share with your mentor and probably other learners and try to interact more with them. So being on Slack is very, very important, but yes, joining the Facebook group is optional, even though important information will be shared there also. So like um, Slack is, very, very important. Facebook is optional. Yeah, so um, the next question um, was supposed to be, the, um, what's the duration of the, the learning from, for the first phase? But I think Rian have already answered this. The, the, uh, this phase will be ongoing from now till August, I think August 4th, just to be sure, Rian. Is it August 4th? It will be August 6th. Oh, okay, sorry. So August 6th. So you still have the opportunity to consume, um, you, you still have the opportunity to consume contents from now till August 6th. If you want to be selected for the next track. 
Yeah, so I think basically I will have to switch over to the questions on on, on YouTube live because like al almost all the questions we've asked here has been have been answered. Yeah, so um so the the ELC team, there's a question about how do the how do learners in non-Andela locations host their meetup? Sam or Messi? Let me check that. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, right now we can't support uh, meetups in Nanandela locations. So maybe something we can do in the future, but currently we are only doing Nanandela locations because of our presence. OK, um, thank you very much. So like basically those are the questions we have. All questions are basically around links. So for, um, so, okay, um, one question for you, Rian. I don't know, I, you probably have answered this, but then just just to clarify. Uh, Elena is complaining he has, he actually applied for the two, for two tracks and he was lucky to be selected for the two tracks in, the, in phase one. Is it possible for him to be uh, unselected from the face? Probably sending an email and then he gets unlocked. Yeah, so he understands that he can actually, or he can simply refuse to take the courses in, in the other track that he's not interested in. But is it possible for him to be removed like completely? Yeah, so the, he can just go through and continue learning on the track that he wants to learn through. Um, he can reach out separately to our support team and ask to be removed if if he'd like. Um, that's something that'll be handled by our support team. But if I were him, I would just go in and look at the content for my preferred track um, and continue there. Yeah. Okay. So um, thank you very much. Um, I think from what I'm seeing here, the questions are just repetitions of of Slack link not working. Um, LC the the channel link not not working. Um, so let me just add up a few things to what we've just answered. Our key points being that um, meetup one we have physical meetups and we are going to be having peer learning groups. Our peer learning groups are still in progress. We're still working on this, and then we share with the learners once we have once we've completed. You'll be you, the mentors will know, will get to know who you are, and then we'll share with you details of your mentors, so you can reach out to them. We'll be creating channels on Slack where you can uh, you simply join and meet with other people from other scholars from your track, and also basically from your own group. Uh, beside that, we'll be having the first meetup in Andela locations on the 29th of June, which is uh, roughly two weeks from now. So our expectations from you, uh, for, from, the, from the learners attending physical meetup is you should have consumed uh, quite a number of content. And if you, have, if you have questions, you probably need more clarification from what, you, what you've learned. The physical meetup is actually a nice place to go. You get to meet other learners, you get to network with them, and then probably ask questions. You have mentors available who will be there to answer any questions you may have. So um, it's really, really important you attend these meetups, even though it's not really compulsory, but then it's it's actually a nice idea. You never know who you're going to meet on the, at the physical meetup. It could be your next co-founder. It, it could be a recruiter who wants to probably see what you're doing. And then, yeah. So basically, that's it. Um, from what I'm seeing here, that's all for questions and answers. And uh, yeah. hello, oh, well. Yeah, hi, Sam. Yeah, so I have a question I would like um, the plural side team to treat. Okay, go ahead. So a couple of learners reached out to me complaining that they, they got an email from plural site, but when they try to assess the content, they will be asked to pay. So I don't know what could be the cost for that. Yeah, so all of the content that is not included on that homepage, so if it's content outside of that homepage, um, 
it's not included in the Pluralsight benefit that's offered to these users through ALC 4.0. So they will, they have to pay to access that. That error should be corrected though. So all of that content, if you're accessing the content through the homepage, you should be okay and you should be able to access all of that. If, if something like that happens again, uh, users can feel free to email support at pluralsight.com and our support team can, can help figure out what the problem is there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so um, any other program assistant have any, any question he want the Pluralsight team to, to uh, treat? Uh, uh, so one of the questions, uh, sorry, one of the questions that the learners are having uh, is, should they be watching the content offline? Will it still be counted like the watched content or they'll have to go back again and watch it online? If content is watched offline, um, once you're back uh, on the internet and you sign into the Pluralsight app, it should actually be updated on the Pluralsight app. So you don't need to watch the content twice. It should be updating once you get back um, online. Yeah, so um, so uh, before we continue, so I think Elena actually reached out to Mercy and was asking, okay, so the learners are actually asking where, uh, where do they start learning from? So uh, I think Eric answered this. Once the learners log into the platform, to Pluralsight platform, it takes them to the library, more like their dashboard. And on, on the dashboard, you have options, uh, you have like sections where you see um, what is expected of you to learn. So the first line is, 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 is going to be um, the ongoing courses you've been watching. It's going to be in the first, first section. The second section is going to be uh, your skill IQ. So if you're taking, if, if you need to take it, it's skill IQ, it's in the next step. Then under it, where we had access to the foundation courses, you will see other courses that you expected to take. It's the main track and the deep dive, it's in, in addition to what you've had already. So the learners can start consuming from that. And I think the ALC team will probably send out an email um, which, with a link to, to the direct library or like the direct, um, the direct dashboard. So, um, but yes, I can remember some learners are having issues with having access to content simply because they have more than a single track. So if you have multiple tracks and you log in, you log into the, to the um, triple side platform, just beside the group with Google and Andela logo, you will see an arrow pointing down. So like it's more like a drop down. So if you click on that arrow, it will give you the option of probably selecting the next track. So like you're going to have another track on that, on that option, select option. Once you, sleep, you click on that, it switch you over from the current track you, you're seeing to the next track. Um, so for more details of how this works, you can go to the uh, help center doc that uh, Rian talked about earlier. I will be sending an, the ELCT will be sending an email and then we'll have a link to the document uh, mailed to you. So you could probably check the help, uh, help document to see, uh, to get more clarification of what, of, on what I'm just saying. So um, I feel, I think there's no more questions and I will call it, we'll call it a day from my own end, except if any member of the team has a question, they want to be asked. Okay, well, thank you. In case we don't have any more questions, uh, I would love to just uh, wind up with a couple of things. Benson, do you have something to say? No, nothing from my side. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, so I saw a question someone asked, uh, where shall we be st studying from? So uh, I would want to comment that uh, you own your own learning. Uh, this is not a physical learning program, but rather you have access to the content, you have access to the your peers online, you have access to your mentors, um, make use of the opportunity on your own learning, uh, set your goals right, and start engaging with the content uh, with a goal in mind. And by the end of the program, uh, this is going to be a good thing for you. And also concerning meetups, uh, I know I mentioned for 
Nandela locations we can support meetups. Uh, but in case you come from a Nandela locations that's like a location that's not part of the locations that Sam mentioned, and you feel you really want to self-organize a meetup, please reach out to us and uh, we can see how to best support that. Uh, otherwise, from my end, uh, I'm wishing you all the best. Uh, this is just the beginning and hopefully you are going to meet again during learning phase two and as we aim towards Google certification, kicking off your career journey and making this something that is going to be a career change or you getting dogs out of these programs and something more than that, yeah. Yeah, okay, so thank you very much, Messi. To add to what Messi is saying, so um, on the on the live chat, I can see Lena's asking, uh, two questions keep coming, popping up. So one being that, um, is this call recorded? Yes, this call is recorded. You can always reach, uh, get back to this call in the same link we shared with you um, to probably come back and and, uh, and watch again. If you have questions, you probably didn't get this time around, you can come back and watch it later. It's just at bit.ly slash elc4 hyphen onboarding. The call is, the, the, the video is always going to be here. Um, and then one feedback to the plural side team, uh, the learners are asking if, uh, and, the, and the LC team also, if we can update the site, the, uh, what do you call it, the website with the timelines in the program website. So we are, um, the, for the LC team, we'll see what we can do. The program side team is also here, they've listened to you. And I believe they will do what is best for the learner. So the project, I hope the project side will be updated. Will be updated. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining the call. And um, we're going to call it a day. Thank you.